how to rank up the fastest way possible in the new MCC progression system. Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today we're giving you some news and information when it comes to how to rank up the fastest way possible on the new progression system for Halo, which currently it's for Halo Reach for this current season. So a lot of unlocks for armor and a lot of customization options in this season, guys. So I'm sure you're probably looking to cry, try to grind through as much as possible. And then we might be a little bit late on this video, but I wanted to get some good amount of game time in to get my stats and hopefully help you guys out with providing you the best options possible for you to play. So if you like these uh, gameplay kind of tip videos, make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and helps support the channel a lot, guys. It really does go a long way. So I really, really would appreciate that. Leave a comment what your experience has when it comes to gaining XP, maybe we can gain a little bit more knowledge on this topic because my data pool is a little small compared to what the entire public has been playing. So I can't get, this is just my experience of what the uh, XP gains have been. But if you guys also want to stay up to date with everything going on in the Halo community, that's news, info, uh, TV show, MCC, Reach, Infinite, all that good stuff. Make sure you tap subscribe guys. You should get up to date with everything going on. And so let's get going into the video here. So at the time of recording this video, Halo Rage has been out for just over a week. And so I wanted to get about, about enough time in to play some games, get record my uh, XP gains and my experiences while playing, try to see if there's any kind of correlation between game modes and XP gains and performance. Since we do know that uh, from previous updates um, from 343 saying that uh, you're better the performance you have, the more XP you will gain. And so that's certainly a very important thing to take into consideration, which certainly does happen with this uh, current XP gain process. I don't want to say. So what I did was I jotted down the game mode that I played, the XP that I gained, my kill death ratio that I had for that game, uh, whether whether or not I won or lost, and also the total amount of medals I was able to get grab. Because uh, the big thing that really helps boost up your total points are the medals that you're able to grab. And so playing modes like 1v1s, 2v2s, free for alls and stuff like that might not be the best because teamwork is a very important thing. So you have three different subjects when it comes to getting XP in uh, current uh, MCC progression. You have uh, completing the game, which gives you a decent amount of XP. Now you have performance, which uh, depending on how well you do in the game, you can max out at 8,000 experience. And you have teamwork as well, which I haven't really seen a max for yet. Maybe because I'm just not that much of a team player or uh, some game modes lend themselves to more teamwork than others. So I want to get into this guy. So let's go into the stats right here. So right here I got a spreadsheet I put together on uh, Google Sheets right here. Just something pretty basic like I mentioned before. Uh, just a list of all the game modes and things that I played right here. And so you can see I played so far uh, 30 games. Minus one because of this row right here. I've played a total of 30 games since the release on the multiplayer since the release of Halo Reach. I know it might sound a little light, uh, but I did have one session where I played a lot of hardcore, and hardcore is generally about the same amount of experience that I experienced with this list right here, as well as I had I was away for the weekend as well on a family vacation, so I had less games. So that's why my XP pool is a little low, but I tried to get enough variety as possible here. So you can see since the in this recording of XP, I've gained over 347,500 XP, which equates to roughly 11,583 XP per game, depending on just overall, the overall experience of what I've been doing here. And so uh, what I want to do then is also kind of break down by different playlists to see which players possibly lend themselves more than others. Uh, so right here I got my social list right here of all the social modes that I played. Uh, now I wasn't able to record how long each game was because that stat isn't provided on any website and not in in-game. So I kind of have to go by feel and then my general knowledge of Halos has been playing Halos since uh, forever <laughs> uh, that I can kind of understand like the general length of each game well each game maxes out at first at 12 minutes and then uh, some games lend themselves longer than shorter than others uh, like a game like a team slayer match right here lends itself about nine minutes seven minutes if you're super fast 
11 minutes or sometimes even time limit if you're super slow. Uh, so King of the Hill was definitely like a much longer match, which I was able to earn uh, 13,600 13, XP, uh, where I was playing a game like SWAT, which these games definitely do finish out a lot faster from my experience in Halo 5 at least. Uh, SWAT match can go anywhere from 4 to 6 minutes, and it seems roughly about the same when it comes to reach, maybe a little bit slower due to the uh, lack of advanced movements. Uh, but it definitely do go by faster than your typical Slayer match, uh, just because of the time to kill is so much faster. Uh, I did see a, uh, a Reddit post as well where someone talking about they were finally got through some prestiges in uh, the progression system to mention that they just played a lot of SWAT, and that's the way they kind of ranked up quickly. As you can see right here from my experience of playing SWAT, I was getting anywhere from uh, just roughly like 10,000 to maxing out at 13,500 uh, even with the loss on that one as well so I definitely noticed there wasn't really much of a correlation between winning or losing uh, I definitely would say though uh, my performance was probably weaker in the matches that I did lose and so then I would equate to getting less XP for my performance which is super important you want to get that 10 8,000 max performance XP so basically just play whatever plat whichever mode you're the best at will help you achieve that for sure faction I've actually found is uh, about the same as well uh, you know I played three matches I did pretty decent on them and so then I thought I got a good range of like a decent game uh, loss and like another decent game where I think I finished top 10. You can see again the correlation between the medal count. I only had 10 medals this game, 7,300 XP. 25 medals in this game, got over 11,000 XP. And so you can see from those three games I played, just around 10,000. Again, kind of close to the overall average that I experienced. And uh, the HCS playlist or hardcore playlist, uh, it definitely, I have actually experienced a few more. Uh, XP dumps than in this uh, little test right here. And like I say, if you have a long match, like I think I had a lo really long uh, CTF match on, on the Sanctuary remake, where I think we went to the time limit or and we won like two to one or something like that. And I went like 47 and 13 in that match, and so I gained like pretty close to 20,000 XP on that match just because I had a lot of teamwork due to it being a team-based game to capture the flag. I even had a flag capture in there as well. Uh, and also having good performance and I think we also and also winning the game as well and completing it. So I got a big XP dump on that. So there definitely is a bit of a correlation between time in a game and time and how much XP you earn. Because if you look over also here in Invasion, like I saw before I hop over, you can see maybe around 10,000, 11,000 XP per game. Uh, over here in invasion i do love me some invasion so my data pool is a little bit bigger uh you can see i have one outlier game right here where i did actually went off pretty well uh with uh, 52 medals on this one and 52 medals over on this game right here getting nearly uh nearly 20,000 xp for a match and uh, invasion matches do last longer i've seen them go anywhere as short as like seven minutes and as long as maybe even close to 15 or 20 something like around there um, so that's definitely something to take in consideration, but most of the time I would say they're roughly about the same length as like a BTB game, honestly, like they're not that much longer and they give you way more XP. Uh, I do have one XP B B BTB game in here where I roughly got like 10,000 XP for it. And so you can see Invasion is actually quite good. Again, not that much better in the overall scheme of things. I think obviously if you're able to go off which with a game mode like Invasion, you definitely are capable of with the vehicles and power weapons that, that are on that uh, game mode. Uh, you can definitely go off on that one a little bit more than you could say like a regular Team Slayer or something like that. Uh, where I actually got just under 13,000 XP per game for out of the eight matches I've recorded on here. So you can kind of say there's a bit of a trend when it comes to obviously doing well, you get a ton of XP. Not doing so well, you don't get as much. <laughs> and so that's kind of a big thing. So obviously you can, so by what I'm trying to show here guys is that really you can kind of play what you want to play in the MCC right now and you will level up about roughly the same as everybody else. Some game modes might give you a little bit extra edge, like a 5% extra edge on XP gains I would say, maybe 10% extra gains, uh, but not enough to where you like that's the mode you have to play if you want to gain XP. Uh, it seems rather evenly distributed, 
uh, for the main modes out there. So that's certainly good to see. I would like to see, that's how I like to see XP gains happen. I don't want to see people being funneled into a certain game mode just to get unlocks. Uh, and then after that, probably be dead because people are sick of it. So I think that the XP distribution is done very well so far on the MCC. Uh, but anyway, so guys, so that's kind of my experience when it comes to this. So I would say overall, guys, the biggest thing, play with friends. Find people who are playing, play with them, get more wins. You'll be doing better because you'll be playing with competent players. You'll be getting more wins. And if you're playing with competent players, you'll be doing better because they're doing better as well. And overall be a better experience. So holds me like the best tip really is just to find friends. If not, play invasion and you know go like uh 33 and 11 and uh do pretty well in that game or something like that you know so um anyways guys that's about everything for the xp gains right there so i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of informational video um if you like to see more like this make sure to tap that like button let me know you receive some more content like this leave a comment down below what your experience has been when it comes to gaining xp in the mcc with the new progression system if there's like a secret hidden game mode that just will just drop the xp on you or and we just don't know about it quite yet uh, you yeah, know please leave it in the comment section down below now i do read all the comments to try to reply to most of them as well and if you're new to the channel we'll stay updated with everything going on in the halo community make sure you tap subscribe guys if you're new to the channel or miss any content for me check out the videos on the screen right now and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out